Asia, a vast land with fast growth. But the world is changing. Politics are divided and policies are debated. Technologies are accelerating and businesses are adapting. Are we rushing into an age of convergence or are we driving into a world of division? Can Asia remain open as the world reinvents itself? Will innovation keep pace with the changes? Global opinion leaders gather at the Boal Forum in April to exchange thoughts, brainstorm ideas, and map a future for Asia and the rest of the world. Join CGTN TV and digital platforms for full coverage of the Boal Forum. Asia, a vast land with fast growth. But the world is changing. Politics are divided and policies are debated. Technologies are accelerating and businesses are adapting. Are we rushing into an age of convergence or are we driving into a world of division? Can Asia remain open as the world reinvents itself? Will innovation keep pace with the changes? Global opinion leaders gather at the Boal Forum in April to exchange thoughts, brainstorm ideas, and map a future for Asia and the rest of the world. Join CGTN TV and digital platforms for full coverage of the Boal Forum. Asia, a vast land with fast growth. But the world is changing. Politics are divided and policies are debated. Technologies are accelerating and businesses are adapting. Are we rushing into an age of convergence or are we driving into a world of division? Can Asia remain open as the world reinvents itself? Will innovation keep pace with the changes? Global opinion leaders gather at the Boal Forum in April to exchange thoughts, brainstorm ideas, and map a future for Asia and the rest of the world. Join CGTN TV and digital platforms for full coverage of the Boal Forum. Asia, a vast land with fast growth. But the world is changing. Politics are divided and policies are debated. Technologies are accelerating and businesses are adapting. Are we rushing into an age of convergence or are we driving into a world of division? Can Asia remain open as the world reinvents itself? Will innovation keep pace with the changes? Global opinion leaders gather at the Boal Forum in April to exchange thoughts, brainstorm ideas, and map a future for Asia and the rest of the world. Join CGTN TV and digital platforms for full coverage of the Boal Forum.
Hello there, you're watching CGTN live streaming coverage in Hainan, the host place of Boral Forum for Asia. Uh, I'm the reporter today, He Wei Wei, and uh, we're now in Hainan, and this show is live streamed on CGTN app, CGTN official website, as well as our account in Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Weibo. Thank you for tuning in. And I'm now in Haikou City, the capital of Hainan province. Uh, Hainan province was officially established some 30 years ago, and it was also designated as the China's largest special economic zone. And great changes have taken place during the past three decades. And today I have invited two guests with me. This lady sitting next to me is Ms. Nice Huang Chunling, Deputy General Manager of Department of Business Development of uh, Haikou Meilan International Airport. Um, Ms. Huang is a local from Hainan, from Wenchang City actually, where a National Satellite Launch Center is located. And also this gentleman, Yuval Golan, he is an Israeli entrepreneur in Hainan, uh, currently the chairman of the Unique One Asia International Consulting Investment Company. Welcome, and you are also assisting the provincial government in some projects to transform Hainan into an international tourism island by 2020. So, two guests, thank you for coming in and joining me today. Thank you for having us. Yeah. So let's thank start. You. Let's start with Ms. Huang. Okay. Uh, as I mentioned, you are from the Wenchang city. Uh, it's the base of a national satellite launch center. So, uh, uh, tell me more about that. How was the people life right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, I love to say that. Mm -hmm. And speaking of changing, so my mm -hmm. hometown, uh, the most. I am proud of mm -hmm. Wenchang Satellite Launch Center. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the newest mm -hmm. of four launch center in China. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, 2000, I remember 2016, 16. it has successfully launched Tianzhou One. Mm -hmm. mm, this is the China first uh, sp uh, space cargo spa ship. Uh -huh. Space cargo ship. Mm -hmm. And as well as the uh, long march uh, five mm -hmm. carrier rocket. rockets, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and you know this great uh, product uh -huh. uh, bring bring um, development, development of uh -huh. prosperity to uh -huh. Wenchang, uh -huh. and and yet Wenchang uh, this great product. Uh -huh. uh, like Wenchang become mm -hmm. more famous mm -hmm. and modernized. Mm -hmm. And I remember uh, 30 years ago, mm -hmm. and you know, Wenchang is, uh, is not good. Uh, it's not as good not as, as, as it is good right as now, the, right? Yes, yes. And, and I remember uh, some of my relatives mm -hmm. uh, uh, has visiting Han mm -hmm. uh, Wenchang mm -hmm. uh, ab from abroad mm -hmm. and he uh, they cannot find a taxi. Mm -hmm. No taxi? That, no taxi. When was that? I when was that? 30 years oh, ago? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, I remember that it is 1986. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I, uh, <coughs> you know, in that time and no hotel, few mm -hmm. hotels, mm -hmm. and the hotels don't have air mm -hmm. conditioning. You know, mm -hmm. Hainan, the weather is so hot, mm -hmm. you know, and let alone mm -hmm. five, uh, let alone star standard hotel. Mm -hmm. But now we have five star standard hotel, like Hilton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember, and um, and that time, the most of the school, mm -hmm. uh, the hot weather hardware is so uh, was so backward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You mean the, the buildings, the classroom was not, was not very good, right? Yeah, no, mm -hmm. I remember and um, you know the build, uh, the the teaching building and the mm -hmm. uh, teachers and students dormitory mm -hmm. uh, was uh, lack of, uh, mm -hmm. was lacking mm -hmm. of rain mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. um, but now uh, not only the uh, building, mm -hmm. uh, the the teaching building, mm -hmm. uh, with the complete equipment, mm -hmm. and also the 
uh, you know, the, the indoor mm -hmm. uh, former st mm -hmm. former style mm -hmm. badminton course mm -hmm. and also the swimming pool mm -hmm. and and has uh, the intelligent mm -hmm. uh, intelligent management library. Mm -hmm. and so I think the, the, the city has become a um, a modern and, and prosperous city right now. Yes. So, Yuval, have you ever been to Wenchang? Of course. You went there? Yeah. So Actually, I've been to <coughs> Wenchang and also one of their fishermen's village called Putian. Mm -hmm. Oh, Putian is my mm -hmm. Your town. hometown? Yes, oh, really? Yeah, really. <coughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> so, Putian has a very interesting uh, background because it, it's one of the first villages in Hainan to open up. Their mm -hmm. sailors used to uh, sail around Southeast Asia mm -hmm. and they have the story of being a very famous boat builders mm -hmm. so the Southeast Asian like the junk boats mm -hmm. uh, like you see in Hong Kong and other places are also today being built still in Putian wow. so a few years ago we went there to check some opportunities on how to modernize these boats and try to do these kind of tourism boats it was pretty interesting mm -hmm. and of course the famous Wen Chang Ji yeah. the, the yeah. Wen Chang Chicken <coughs> actually Wen Chang Chicken. Yeah, famous, famous all over the world so, I think Wen Chang Ji is one of the most famous food in Hainan Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the Aki Street in there? Of course. Yeah, it's it was really wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's just many memories. It, you know. Yeah. Of so everyone come to Hanan. I think you definitely have tried to win Changji, win Chang Chicken. <laughs> so you got, you have always been dedicating yourself in promoting Hainan to the outside world, and actually you and your company are now um, participating in some very big projects in. Uh, uh, promoting the tourism in Hainan. So tell me more about that. Okay, so I first actually came to Hainan in 2010 mm -hmm. uh, by coincidence, Yuan Fen. Mm -hmm. So uh, something happened, someone I guess from higher power uh, mm -hmm. sent me here and by coincidence I met some people from the Foreign Affairs uh, Office who wanted to do some great things with Israel. Mm -hmm. And at that time I just res I was just resigned from the Israeli Embassy in Europe, so it was mm -hmm. good timing. I came here to study Chinese mm -hmm. and they asked me to help uh, or assist or work with them together on setting up some uh, commerce and uh, diplomacy relationship with Israel. Mm -hmm. So we started doing that in 2012, 13, 14, 15 and uh, up till today mm -hmm. and eventually I moved here in 2012. Um, the most interesting thing <coughs> we've been doing with the government recently was um, working with the uh, Provincial Tourism Development Commission, mm -hmm. the Luyowe, mm -hmm. uh, on trying to find the gaps between the current situation in Hainan mm -hmm. and the way it should become in 2020 as an international tourism island. Mm -hmm. So basically last year and the year before we did, uh, we sent uh, 10 experts from different countries, mm -hmm. including with core countries that the, the travels that go to Hainan, mm -hmm. to inspect the hotels, the level of languages, uh, the facilities, infrastructures, mm -hmm. airports, trains, mm -hmm. foods, restaurants, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> travel locations, the most interesting attractions, mm -hmm. and where they should improve. So actually, we were very positively surprised by the willingness of the government, one, to work with a foreign company and a uh -huh. bunch of foreigners, uh, <laughs> and also of the openness that, uh, that they were willing to change and reform the things that we told them. Uh -huh. So after we submitted the report, it was very, 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 very successful. So it was uh -huh. submitted later to deputy governor, governor, uh -huh. and party secretary of uh -huh. Hainan province. Uh -huh. And they even had a, they held a very big meeting with all the departments uh -huh. and told them that uh, these are the things they should change and follow us. Uh -huh. And this year we're going to do uh, part two. Mm -hmm. Okay, looking yeah. forward to that. Yeah, you do a good job. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> and yeah. I think whenever we have an urban planning or we want to develop some place, you know, infrastructure construction is always the priority. Exactly. And Ms. Huang, actually you're working at the airport, as yes. I mentioned. Tell me more about that. You are responsible for, I think, to, for opening the international flights between Hainan and other places, right? Yes. Tell me more about that. Okay, so in recent years, in order to better serve uh, construction of international and regional uh, development. Development. So I think, uh, you know, I did some research before I came here. Uh, actually, uh, this uh, Haiko International Airport has uh, been listed as the best regional airport in China, yes. according to the Star Trek uh, a, uh, aviation rating site. And I think. Uh, Yes, uh, last year we have 12 international new flights to be opened. I think you must have been participating in part of that negotiations, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, and yes, in 2016, so we have operated a total of 26 uh, international and regional routes mm -hmm. in which, yes, in which 
12 mm -hmm. new ones were in that. And we and the rules cover 15 countries mm -hmm. and regions. Mm -hmm. um, and including Hong Kong, mm -hmm. Macau, mm -hmm. and Taiwan, Italy, mm -hmm. South Korea, and mm -hmm. Singapore, Malaysia, mm -hmm. a lot so of places. Yes, I've uh, tried some of your routes. <laughs> yeah, okay. How okay. was your experience? That good? Wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> and actually, uh -huh. uh, it's uh, 90 percent, 90 percent of mm -hmm. Asian countries mm -hmm. are covered mm -hmm. by the network. Asian countries. Yes, mm -hmm. and the next. Uh, Melanie Albert mm -hmm. will continue to develop mm -hmm. overseas aviation markets, mm -hmm. and we are uh, we try to uh, we try to we try to strive to expand network layout coupling mm -hmm. North America, uh, America and and Middle East, mm -hmm. Europe, mm -hmm. and Ocean Air, and the important mm -hmm. hub of Asia, mm -hmm. and. We make efforts to build an international transfer hub, mm -hmm. airport. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I think not only the flights, the airport itself is also enlarging itself because we're uh, seeing international um, uh, tourists and visitors coming from here. And actually, I think that's uh, also a benefit from Boal Forum for Asia. And actually, this uh, the annual conference for Boal Forum for Asia. Uh, will be held starting from tomorrow. And actually, what's local people's uh, perspective on this annual event? Yvette, so, I, yeah. uh, so I've been living in Hainan for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. And Baal, Baal Forum from Asia, mm -hmm. I think, is a very famous forum uh, around the world. Mm -hmm. And it brings uh, a good opportunity for leaders from different industries and governments to come here and have a uh, second uh, Davos mm -hmm. uh, forum, which is based in Hainan. So it will bring Hainan. Uh, more exposure around the world and people mm -hmm. flying over here from all over the world to discuss some mm -hmm. corporations, opportunities, developments in Asia mm -hmm. um, and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. uh, in general, I believe that any type of culture or cultural event mm -hmm. and uh, forums will help Hainan to position itself in Southeast Asia and the world mm -hmm. as a culture center or discussion center or operation center for international events happening. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a very positive thing. Uh, there should be also something for young entrepreneurs or young leaders that this will bring more people of the future leaders of the world mm -hmm. like the, the current uh, events that are happening. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, uh, the Chinese President Xi Jinping has also mentioned that Hainan should uh, take the advantage of this tourism to um, boost further development. And there are also some uh, discussions on the free, free trade port and some other uh, big projects in Hainan. Uh, Hainan now is, is the wind is really big now. Uh, Hainan is working on making itself more competitive. Um, for example, we have free duty stores, spider zone, and in medical tourism. Um, we are here um, in Haikou city, the capital of Hainan province, and we are here to talk about the development here. We will be back in a short minute. The changes began some 30 years ago when the province Hainan was approved as the largest special economic zone in China. All those reforms are crucial, making sure that Chinese development is inclusive, sustainable, and beneficial to all its people. The Smart Village program allows thousands of residents in small villages to directly connect with well-established communities in big cities. China is climbing up the global technology value chain. Where is the innovation trend heading next? Innovative programs such as blockchain technology are giving some Australians a unique way to power their homes. To technologies, themes that are key in this year's Boho Forum. The changes began some 30 years ago when the province Hainan was approved as the largest special economic zone in China. All those reforms are crucial, making sure that Chinese development is inclusive, sustainable and beneficial to all its people. The Smart Village program allows thousands of residents in small villages to directly connect with well-established communities in big cities. China is climbing up the global technology value chain. Where is the innovation trend heading next? 
Innovative programs such as blockchain technology are giving some Australians a unique way to power their homes. To technologies, things that are key in this year's Boho Forum. Hi there, you're watching CGTN live streaming in Hainan, the host place of Boho Forum for Asia. And I am reporter He Wei Wei. This live streaming, uh, this show is live streaming on CGTNF, CGTN official website, as well as our account on uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Weibo. Thank you for tuning in. Today I have two guests with me, Ms. Huang Chenling from Haikou International Airport, and Mr. Yuval Golan. And he is an Israeli entrepreneur who is uh, helping the provincial government in some very big projects to meet the targets of building Hainan into an international tourism island by 2020. Thank you for coming in today. Um, we just talk about the development and talk about your life here. And now, actually, uh, you have been living in Hainan for six years. And Ms. Huang, you are local here. So, um, in your opinion, if you want to further boost the development in this island, in this province, what needs to be done? I think um, <coughs> the development needs to be based on a couple of pillars. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the main pillars that I can look and basically look at my country, mm -hmm. uh, Israel, is it's quite small. Mm -hmm. uh, around the size, it's about 70 percent the size of uh, Hainan. <coughs> there are a couple of pillars you can look at. Um, so one, one first thing is education. Mm -hmm. uh, the education level needs to be improved uh, because education basically facilitates uh, economy opportunities, higher salaries, uh, innovation. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> better services, mm -hmm. etc. So Hainan has done a great leap in improving itself and positioning itself around Southeast Asia and in, in the domestic market. Mm -hmm. uh, but as positioning itself into international tourism island, it means you put yourself in comparison and, competi and in, co in competition mm -hmm. with other tourism islands in the area, mm -hmm. in Malaysia, in Indonesia, in Thailand, mm -hmm. in, in Greece, mm -hmm. uh, in Spain, etc., etc. So education will be one thing. The other thing will be uh, China is very, very strong in infrastructure and building things very well, very fast. I can say much better than the place I lived in before. Mm -hmm. When you say a leadership says something, things happen. Mm -hmm. uh, the next step would be <coughs> implement software. So this is hardware. Software is basically providing the best services possible. Mm -hmm. So this also is being coupled with education. So mm -hmm. if I'm an international traveler coming to Hainan, mm -hmm. everything should be as easy for me as it is to a local Chinese tourist. Mm -hmm. So for example, if I go to a train station, I book mm -hmm. my, my train tickets in advance, I should be able to swipe my passport and just grab my ticket, like any other European or American uh, at the, you know, place in around the world. Mm -hmm. Just an example. Mm -hmm. People should give me in English. I should be able to listen to some international TV or international radio. Mm -hmm. uh, and this place should be as comfortable as it is that, and also should provide me mm -hmm. <coughs> as, uh, as tourism products as other places. Mm -hmm. So then we go to the next one, which is culture, mm -hmm. uh, culture and entertainment. Mm -hmm. The island should be able to provide some cultural products, entertainment, mm -hmm. uh, museums, exhibitions, music festivals, because mm -hmm. Hainan offers the best weather in China. Mm -hmm. So why places like Shanghai or Guangzhou or Chengdu has so many festivals? But here, we should have some more. Mm -hmm. And not only that, promote them, mm -hmm. build them in advance, build the yearly events that everyone from all over the world would come here mm -hmm. just to visit. Uh, the fourth thing should be seasonality. Hainan, basically now, the, the tourism season mm -hmm. is basically uh, from around September to February, March. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the year, so during that time, most of the hotel prices are pretty high because mm -hmm. they're competing to grab all the tourists that are coming. Mm -hmm. But from March to uh, August or September, it's usually where foreigners like to travel. We like to go to the beach, we like to tan, we like to enjoy. So this is the period which is very strong to attract foreigners. Mm -hmm. So when you can attract foreigners, then the hotels will be able to price themselves and earn more revenues during that period of the year. Mm -hmm. So you position yourself with that. <clears throat> the other thing is, as Hainan develops as an economic uh, point of view, mm -hmm. a place that provides opportunities and employment, mm -hmm. They should look at other provinces and what they have done mm -hmm. um, and see how we can provide better opportunities mm -hmm. and better policies for these people to come here to work full time or when the northern provinces are cold, mm -hmm. they can come to work here half the year. Mm -hmm. However, at the end, people need a few things. They need good housing, they need good opportunities, good yeah. salary, good yeah. education for their kids, mm -hmm. places to shop. Uh, etc etc mm -hmm. so if you look at this whole package there's five or six pillars that make people lives better mm -hmm. 
I think the provincial government is working on that, but it still needs time for us to finally meet the targets. And you mentioned that you, for example, uh, when you go to the train station, <coughs> Is it convenient for you to, to, you know, to scan your passport? And no, to, you know, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. So it's easier for me to take a flight to Thailand than to go to Sanya, actually. <laughs> You know, you know, the tour, a tour outside, uh, outside China, outside China is much easier for you yeah. to within the... Let's say I'm in Haikou mm -hmm. and I want to go to Sanya or mm -hmm. I want to go to Bangkok mm -hmm. or to Phuket. Mm -hmm. I'll need to leave my house an hour and a half to mm -hmm. go to the train station. I'll mm -hmm. need to stand in line even if I book the ticket in advance. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I'll take my ticket, go through security, go to, to the and wait for the train. Airport the same. Mm. I book my ticket, I go check in. So I love Sanya, it's a great place to visit, but they need to think, because now Chinese, if you book a ticket, mm -hmm. you just swipe your ID. Yes. So these ID scanning, they're automated machines. Yes. And all over the world you have this. So this is something which is, and China 4.0 is much mm -hmm. more advanced than many foreign countries that I know. Life here is so comfortable. So why not just add a passport function or a chip function mm -hmm. to these machines and make life easier for all the tourists that come here. Okay, just to give some basic information to our audience, uh, uh, China is uh, developing its high-speed trains, so um, the trains facilities is quite convenient for Chinese people. We can scan our ID card, it's pretty easy to get on the train, but foreigners, it's not that easy. That's what uh, Yuval just mentioned. Uh, I think in the future we can... We should listen to your own voice. Yeah. You. <laughs> yeah. I hope so. Yeah. So when we, when we improve often. the infrastructure, <laughs> we, we can have you to, you know, to experience our facility Thank you. first. Thank you. Yes. And so, and the Boa Forum for Asia, the annual conference is about to uh, open tomorrow, actually. And the opening ceremony, actually, will be uh, April the 10th, uh, a couple of days later. So, what is your expectations on the development of Hainan province? As a local, as a local foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> How about with a local? Okay. And then a local so, foreigner. Mm -hmm. Of course, and, you know, we're looking forward to, more, uh, to have more available uh, palaces. Palaces. Yes, mm -hmm. and to contract to promote construction of our international tourism island mm -hmm. and to improve Hainan's mm -hmm. status and mm -hmm. the world. That mm -hmm. is the key point. Mm -hmm. And we hope, we also hope we have more and more high tech industry to enter mm -hmm. and to sort, you know, the problems you mentioned just now. Mm -hmm. So, and I hope, uh, you know, as for me, mm -hmm. I am in charge of the aviation traffic mm -hmm. and I also hope we can have uh, more and more open and convenient incentive policies mm -hmm. of aviation. Mm -hmm. And for example, the, the five sky, open sky mm -hmm. and stop, o stop over sky right mm -hmm. open so, skies right yeah, open sky mm -hmm. so we hope the government keep you know to give the to make strong efforts, efforts uh -huh. mm -hmm. the strong support <coughs> for that mm -hmm. yeah so what about you you mm -hmm. uh, i'm looking i think i'm looking forward for this because i know that pres uh, president xi jinping is arriving this year so with mm -hmm. him i assume a lot of uh, state leaders mm -hmm. and head of huge companies are heading to hainan so I'm looking forward for a couple of things. One is uh, opening the international tourism market mm -hmm. and also improving the, as we said, the software mm -hmm. instead of the hardware, because the hardware is very well. I mean, China trains are phenomenal. I've traveled all over China with the fast train. They're really good also around Hainan. Mm -hmm. So boosting more the, the service facilities, uh, the services, as well as tech. Mm -hmm. Tech, again, it's something which has to be matched with universities. Look mm -hmm. at Silicon Valley. You have MIT, you have Stanford, it's all there. Mm -hmm. Look at Israel, you have Tel Aviv University. So why not uh, match up with an Israeli, an American, and uh, Beida in Tsinghua mm -hmm. and have them open a campus here? Mm -hmm. Their students will study in, in, uh, in summer in, in, uh, in the big cities and then come here in winter when it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then this will help to facilitate these technologies. Mm -hmm. uh, the third pillar is to really have to provide more entertainment and cultural products. Mm -hmm. So Hainan should uh, open up more and become a cultural center in China thanks to its weather and, and its people. So I'm looking forward at least with these three things. <laughs> and I hope, I hope more. And uh, the fourth one would be to create more opportunities, mm -hmm. both for Chinese and for foreigners. Mm -hmm. I know that HNA is uh, it's a, big, it's a big multinational conglomerate that provided, uh, provides jobs for 100,000 people around the world. Mm -hmm. But except them, we need more companies to be able to provide opportunities for foreigners and Chinese to be working here mm -hmm. and earning as much as they can earn in bigger cities. Because mm -hmm. then they will have a choice to come here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Yes, uh, Hainan. Then actually, um, this year is the 30th anniversary of the establishment of Hainan Province, which uh, was also designated as China's largest special economic zone. And today, I have invited two guests with me, Ms. Huang Chenling from the Haikou International Airport, and Mr. Yuval Golan, who's uh, assisting the government in some projects to meet the target of to build Hainan into an international tourism island by 2020. And thank you for joining me today for this show. And see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.